Hello, you guys. So I'm home now, back in my my little my little apartment in the fifth. In the last video, I was in another apartment in the middle of Paris because of like some drama that was going on with my neighbor. And so today was the first time that I came back. Um, and I had to come back. I was going to wait for Alex to be able to come back with me so we can have dinner. And that way, like my first night back here, I wouldn't feel alone. Um, but he can't come till tomorrow. And I left some prints here. So I just decided to be like, fuck it. And like channel my Tom Hardy and um walk up the stairs like a bad bitch and just not care anymore you know so that's where we're at this morning i'm feeling a little bit low vibe and i don't know if it's because it's like gray outside or and i'm like cold or because um i don't know just like the energy is stale so i'm gonna try and have a good day today and like how to like maybe this video will be like how to make myself feel better on kind of a low vibe day um but first i need to finish sending out these postcard prints um because my book came out the week before i've just been so busy with that so i have a few more prints i need to send out um look they came out so nice uh, these are all sold out. What I've been doing is I've been like opening pre-orders for a week uh, at the beginning of each month and um, that way I like know exactly how many to order um, and I'm not sure when this one's going to come back in stock because I want to change the print. So I'm going to be doing that this morning. Um, when I work, I like to listen to lately. Um, the this show on Netflix is uh, My Guest Doesn't Need any introduction and i like watching that because it's almost like a podcast and the guests are always are so insightful so yeah we're gonna try to turn today which is just like a little bit of a low vibe day you know sometimes you have those days into a really fun one. Oh, and i forgot <laughs> i had to write a little dot on my hand to remind myself because at 1 30 today i have a call with the casting director for that reality TV show that I was telling you guys about, the Emily in Paris. If you guys missed that vlog, basically, they are creating a new show um, which follows four American girls living in Paris. It's supposed to be like the real Emily in Paris. <laughs> um, and they contacted me and said that they wanted to like call and talk to me and I, I told you guys like in the other video like normally i'm like just i just do i seem like the type that would be on reality tv no I, <laughs> but um and like i really like my life like the way it is every day so i don't want to fuck that up either um, i like just like how simple and slow and just like chill my days are even though like i do have work um there's just not much drama normally besides the nades however um yeah i was like i kept getting like tagged in this post and people kept telling me like you should you know consider it so i'm going to talk to them on the phone today and at least like he like learn a little bit more about it if it seems like it's going to be like well made and not just like a trashy reality show then i might be open to doing it i would really only be interested if it's like um trying to like put a spotlight on like real uh young women living abroad they said the concept is like sex in the city meets emily in paris <laughs> but lately i don't know i don't know if i like fit that vibe uh but we'll see if you guys are wondering why i'm wearing a coat it's because it's quite cold and like this winter i've been so bad like i've had my heater on um i've had my freaking heater on like every day like all night all day um but i'm trying to like cut back a little bit so yeah that's kind of what's been going on today i wanted to again say thank you to everyone that's bought my poetry book so far i'm just like so touched and blown away if you guys missed it i put out a poetry book and it got to the top of a lot of um different bestsellers list on amazon so i'm like super super grateful i'm gonna work on this for a little bit have the phone call at 1.30 and I'll, I don't think I'm going to actually like film the phone call because I 
that's like i don't think i don't even think that's legal um but i'll like tell you guys how it went afterwards and then we'll try to turn this day around and like have a really fun day and trust me it's not going to be like i went for a run and i feel so good like this is going to be like legit what i do to feel better on a on a bad day and it's not going to be like too inspirational it's just going to be very legit logistic it's going to be very realistic bref okay c'est parti Okay, so I finished all of my print. Ugh, so fucking loud. Come on. Okay, so I finished all of my prints. It's around 12 p.m. So I think what I'm gonna do, it's something that always makes me feel a little bit better is when my space is like, I don't wanna say like organized, but just like a little bit more cleaned up. I feel like our mental space oftentimes um, is a reflection of how our physical space is. Um, and my apartment's actually pretty clean at the moment, but I do have some dishes. So I think I'm gonna do the dishes. And I know, super fun, right? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make myself a really yummy and delicious meal. I feel like just taking the time to cook for yourself, it can be something that helps. And look, there's a million things that you can do to kind of boost your mood. But um, honestly, like I'm trying to make this as real realistic as possible because sure, there's like a laundry list of things you can do, but the day is only so long. So I'm just going to try and do things that I am naturally going to want to do today to like boost my mood and just like have a, a better, funner day. I already feel a little bit better just because like I have completed a task you know, uh, so I can check that off my to-do list. Oh, that is a really good one, is when you have a list of things um, that you wanna accomplish and just have like the most important ones at the top. That way, like even if it's something like super simple, like brush my teeth this morning, it just makes you feel a little bit better. This is me. So now that I'm done tidying up, I'll try and change my ideas by getting inspired by my surroundings. As you can see, I like to surround myself with color and books for this reason. And oftentimes I'll open a book like this one with inspiring images and interesting interviews. It's a really quick and easy way to just kind of change my headspace. I also think journaling is one of the best things you can do as it's a real release and a way to get clear about why you're feeling a certain way. Even jotting down, I feel like shit, is an action of self-expression that's valid. It's funny because some people like treating themselves to things like shoes or nice meals, but I really love gifting myself beautiful journals like this one and it gets me excited to write in it. 
Sometimes I like to talk to my plants. You guys are my best friends. But there's a better way. There is a better way. <laughs> You're such a beautiful plant. A beautiful plant indeed. We're gonna have a great day today, aren't we? How I just spoke to my plant kind of reminds me of um, how we should speak to ourselves. you know? So like if you are having like um, sort of um, a low vibe day or you just wake up not feeling very good and like honestly that's normal and I'm not for just like being like oh well we have to stay positive all the time like that's not it but I think like just like reminding yourself that you're your best friend and you're going to take care of you and like don't worry like if I wake up and I just feel low vibe I'm just like don't worry, Shayna, we're gonna make today really fun even if you don't feel good right now. The way you talk to yourself is so important and if you wouldn't say that to your friend, then don't say it to yourself, you know? So, yeah, I'm already feeling just like a little bit better, but there's still some more things that we can do. I know something that I really love as well is just like surprising myself and being like spontaneous. For example, I remember when at my old apartment, um, one day I was having like a really shitty day and randomly I just put on my old wedding dress and I bought a box of donuts. I got dressed up as if it was my wedding day. I bought a box of donuts from like the supermarket and I walked to the park and I just sat on a picnic blanket by myself and ate just like a box of donuts by myself. <laughs> And everyone, it was so funny because everybody that I was passing in the park was like, oh, congratulations. And I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. It was just like me, like my fucking box of donuts. So maybe I'll try to do something fun like that today. I'm not to that extreme because I just, I'm not up to it. But, you know, I think we can, when you can find ways to just like shift your perspective and take yourself out of your current situation because it's so easy, especially like being in confinement and being in like these four walls inside to just like get stuck in this routine, but like switching it up a little bit. So we'll see what we can do today. We'll see. Qu'est-ce que tu fais toi quand tu te réveilles un matin et que tu ne sens pas dans une bonne tête ou quand tu ne veux pas avoir une bonne journée Qu'est-ce que tu fais pour te sentir mieux Tu manges un bon repas Tu vas de la télé ah, Ça t'arrive jamais I have to hurry up and eat this because the call is in like 10 minutes. <laughs> and I'd love to hear in like in the comments, like what do you do to kind of take care of yourself? Because like once we quit our, you know, like once we leave our family's home, we do like inevitably become like our own parent figure um, to ourselves. So I'd love to hear like how you parent yourself and like what are some things that you do for yourself um to make sure that like you're happy healthy i remember my grandma when i was little she always used to insist that i'd i used to get so fat at my grandma's house i'm sure everybody she just loved she grew up like during the great depression actually i'm not sure if that's true i might have made that up i don't know when that was in like kansas or oklahoma well, i think it's oklahoma and so growing up she didn't have like a lot of like food so once she was older like it was so it just made her so happy whenever we go to her house to just like feed us and she just like she used to tell me like i love watching you eat <laughs> and when i was younger i was like i had just watched like i had just read hansel and gretel so it like freaked me out a little bit i was like grandma's gonna eat me <laughs> but now like i realize like food is so it's like such a way to show yourself love and other people love so, bon appétit. Ah. 
Hi, this is Shayna. So, like I said before, I can't share、um, the full telephone conversation, but basically, we just spoke for around 15 minutes and I asked a ton of questions just to get like the vibe of the show and just to see if it would be something that I was interested in at all. The first thing I found out was that the show was on Bravo, which for me it was a bit of a red flag just because shows on Bravo can be really exploitative and are like the real housewives and that sort of thing.、Um, So, I did express that. The shows that I've seen on Bravo are like, like very over the top dramatic sometimes, and like I wouldn't want like my life to become like a parody either, you know? So, like, I would like it if it would be something that was like, you know, obviously entertaining, but not like over the top, like girls fighting, you know, like that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> And another thing that kind of rubbed me the wrong way was the person I was talking to said that they wanted、uh, the girls on the show to dress a certain way,、um, to be dressed up. And for me, that's not really an accurate and authentic、um, approach. So to me, it was a very shallow idea of how women dress. And I even explained to them, like, you know, like、um, the culture in France and the aesthetic is not going to be like wearing tons of makeup. I remember you saying, like, for the camera, like, to get ready and everything like that. But, like, I think, like, you'll find that, like, most people that live here have, have like, a very natural look. You know what I mean? So, like, maybe it'll be, like, a red lip, but it's not going to be, like, pounds of foundation or, you know what I mean? And the more that I talked to the person, the more I realized that they had, like, really no idea about life in Paris or culture, the culture here at all.、Um, the guy actually said, like, oh, one of the girls that we're talking to is following you on Instagram. So you guys probably already know each other because the community, the American expat community in Paris is so small. To which I replied, it's actually really huge. And he just kept saying things that to me were sort of red flags. So. After talking for a little while, it seemed to me like they just wanted to ride off of the success of Emily in Paris and create a very cliche idea of what the American expat in Paris is, which definitely is not my vibe at all. So I'm glad that I got to talk to them anyway,、um, just to see like, what the project was about, but it's definitely not my vibe. <laughs> I am already feeling a little bit better. But I am going to take it to the next level. I'm gonna go like on a little walk.、Um, I think just to like change my surroundings. I honestly feel like being inside sometimes and just like being like in these four walls can make us feel a bit like, you know, sad or down. So I'm gonna go on a long walk. All right, let's, let's head out. Let's head out into Paris. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go to the Shakespeare and Company bookstore because I just love going there and in that area of Paris as well. And I'm also gonna see if I can get some copies of my book in the bookstore. I just think that would be so cool. So I'm gonna walk down there. It's such a sunny day. I feel so much better than this morning already. So here we are now at the park. The sun is shining. People are laying out in these sea green chairs and reading or just closing their eyes and 
feeling the sun on their face. I think what I realized is perspective is absolutely everything and no matter what you're going through, there is beauty all around us and little sources of joy if we just open our eyes and look for it. That's why I think it's so important to look outside of ourselves you know, and get outside of our four walls, whether that's the four walls in our mind or, you know, our physical environment. If you're feeling uninspired where you're at, if you're feeling low and just kind of stuck in some way, um, or if, you know, you've had a bad day, just remember that you have the power to get yourself out of that situation and get yourself out of that mindset by just taking some small action, you know, like whether it's writing down your feelings or going on a walk and seeing something beautiful and saying like, wow, this was here all along. I just forgot, you know, it's so easy to forget sometimes. And there will be days when you wake up and you feel low or sad or, you know, you've had a rough time. But just remember, you're never alone and you have the power to take a step in another direction if that's what you want to do. Thank you for spending this time with me. Let's enjoy the rest of this walk on this sunny day. <laughs> and if you made it to the end, leave me a comment that says I have the power I love you and I'll see you next time I'm so bummed because the Shakespeare and Company bookstore is closed they only open in the afternoon but that's okay it was still like a nice walk I think I'm gonna go get like some ice cream or something and make the most of the day